after we finished testing, we finally got to the LOI and we were just so happy and relieved that it worked. Here at Iolani, we currently offer two robotics courses. And they are electives courses offered to seventh and eighth graders. So students come in, they'll be given some sort of general theme that they have to work to. This semester's project came about because there was a need in a colleague's biology class where her students needed to monitor the LOI canal and that required that they collected samples on a regular basis. And I asked Dr. Chan, who is the biology teacher, if she would come in and explain the work she's doing and what kind of needs she had related to collecting water samples. After the students heard that presentation, they were basically hooked and said, we have to do this and they collectively decided that their mission this semester was to build quadcopters that would fly out to the Alawai Canal and bring back water samples from whatever location was necessary. So we had to come up with basic needs that our quadcopter had to have. It had to fly for sure, float, be waterproof, and many other things, but that's just the general idea. And before we could start catting, we had to make little random parts using tutorials and learning in class because we had no idea what this program was at first. We used 3D modeling tools that allow the students to take the ideas in their head and transfer that into the virtual world. And the software available today is extremely powerful and relatively easy to use. He didn't let us even touch materials for what we wanted to do until we had a complete model completely set with what our idea was, knowing how stuff was going to be attached, knowing what nuts and bolts we were going to use for it. He didn't let us touch any of that until we completely finished the CAD model. So during the brainstorming process, some students thought, okay, well what I'm going to do is have my quadcopter hover above the surface of the water and drop down a collection bottle to collect the sample. Other students decided, well, it might be easier if I actually am able to land my quadcopter on the water, then do my sampling, and then take off and bring it back home. The way our group was able to float on the water, we used 350 milliliter water bottles in order for us to float, and we made a piece on the 3D printer in order for us to screw it on, and that took a long time. but. We got it to work and the way our group decided to use that was because it's something that we can find in a lot of places so if somehow it broke then we could replace it with another one. It didn't turn out to be the best way but it was the way that worked for us really well up until the end. What we did was we designed a tube. We just got one of the pool noodles and hot glued them together that we just zip tied on the quadcopter which was really really effective. So when we first embarked on this specific project of collecting water samples, I was a little bit hesitant to commit because I thought we were overreaching our skill level here. And I made the students very aware of that and said, you know what, if you can get your quadcopter and actually get it to fly, that's going to be a win for you. So when we actually finally finished building the quadcopter, we had to practice flying it inside Sullivan in the baseball field, just practice flying. And then after that, we went to the pool before we got to the LOI. And we tested its buoyancy and ability to float. And then after we finally finished testing, flying it into the water multiple times, we finally got to the LOI, which was a huge success. And it was so much fun. And we were just so happy and relieved that it worked. Our sense of success change throughout the whole process. Like we had different like goals that we would try to meet every time and we didn't really think it would actually fly. And so it flew. And it's like that moment when you kind of realize it's not like you got an A on a test or something. It's like you made a difference where you helped um, a good cause. It's not the easiest thing to really express, but you, you know it when you feel it. 
As I expected, there were varying levels of success within the groups. We had about four groups, and one made it all the way to the end and was able to collect water samples consistently. And there were other groups that just by the end got their quadcopter to fly. So on that level, they all succeeded. What was interesting in that process is once the first quadcopter flew, the groups that were way behind were automatically motivated to push themselves. When I grow up, right now I'm not exactly sure what I want to be, but I definitely want to continue with the engineering field. I'm definitely going to take Robotics 2 again, which I believe we can take next year. And I want to try and expand my knowledge on robotics. I really love the creativity and hard work that you need to be able to make the parts, robot, etc. In the future, after I graduate from Iolani, I'd like to go to an engineering college. I could definitely see me doing this in the future because of how much joy it brings me.